Oh, wow. September is shaping up to be a really cool month. And I just did the 10 day master forecasts and I've decided to each month I'm going to give you one for free so you can see what they're like. But remember, it only works if you're that day master. So who's on the freebie list this month? It is going to be Bing, which is Yang Fire. So if you're a Yang Fire day master, which is the day you were born, this forecast is for you. And I've just grabbed a really important bit from there. The whole thing is on my website. And if you're not a Bing, well, go to my website, use the calculator on the day master, and then pop in and get your forecast. It's free to try. So go grab it. I do love my job. So good. So interesting, right? We're going to have this month of, I'm not going to say retrospect, but I kind of am. Um, and it's actually quite good. And for you, it carries a slightly different path. So let's start with your three words experience, nobleman, strategize. Well, I hid the biggest one right in the middle, right? Nobleman. And I know you've had, the, if you've been with me for a year, you've had this before because they usually cycle every 12 months at different times. But I'm going to start at the beginning with experience. I want you to learn from what you experienced this month. It's not a, it's not a school of hard knocks. It's not a, oh my God, life is going to be so bad. The only positive here is to learn from it. I hate it when people say that. It's, it's not that. It's just that it's that month where I've asked you to revisit things, memories, moments, sad things, happy things, and bring them to the surface again. Some things you might need to make peace with, some things you might need to actually work on and bring forward again. Basically, school is in session for you, okay? School is in session because there's a lot of learning in there. And what I mean is, you know, you're this capable person anyway, being day masters always, always, always are. But sometimes we forget what we've learned because we, we just amass information and we miss things. So revisit some stuff. Okay. You don't need to do a new course or get a new thing. You've actually got everything you need. Revisit it, but don't bite off more than you can chew. And I know you can chew a lot. So I'm asking you to not take such big bites, work through it systematically through the month of September. When you do come across a big bite, or something that could stump you, which isn't very many things, by the way, but something that does, know that support is available to you. That's nobleman, right? So when nobleman comes forward, it's important we ask the questions, we ask for help. So you can do it um, if you're spiritual. You can do this through spiritual um, moments, right? Just asking the universe for a sign, show me the way, send me a song, send me a visual, send me something, whatever medium works for you. But nobleman is also people. So if you have a lot of things going on, which um, for September, it's not too much, actually, it's okay. Um, ask for help. If you actually need help with something, maybe don't think, well, I can get that done. I know you could, but why stretch yourself so thin when I've asked you to take time to revisit moments in your life? You cannot run full tilt and also be still and engage your mind. So ask people for Ask people for help and they will help you. Nobleman can actually be a plumber or an electrician or someone. It can actually be a physical person because the universe will send you what you need. Now, revisit your plan. I know you like plans. Is it sound? Is it achievable? Is it workable? I have a feeling you've got a massage stuff that your plan you've laid out is not necessarily... <clears throat> What's going to go forward? This is a sort of a hangover from August because August was our pivotal point. Nothing can stay the same after August. So we're now living that. So if you made plans before, which I bet you did, I want you to revisit them and just reshape them a little bit, recalculate them. Um, you're beginning a marathon, not a sprint, right? This is a marathon that you're beginning now. So your fitness is everything, spiritual, mindset, health, everything. I don't just mean fitness as in how much do you weigh or how many jumping jacks you can do. More than me, by the way. Um, so your fitness is everything and pace yourself. Okay. Pace yourself, yourself. Unplanned moves can be exciting when something all of a sudden pops up, but they also create issues because they create ripples and those ripples go out and change things. So be ready for some, uh, plans that you made to change 
and just go with where the change is. However, resist the urge to change something just for the sake of changing it. Okay, be a rebel with the cause. If you're going to change something, have a purpose to do so. And I'm going to say have a purpose that fits you. Maybe not the people you're working for, working with. Maybe take them out of the picture for a minute. What do you want to change for you? All right. 